Hello, ladies, gents, and foolish warriors who need to put their ambitions to rest. Lisa Hike has done it again. We have a level pack with 13 plus levels of madness. Supposedly, according to the description, focused on originality, we're going to see never seen before mechanics. <laughs> never seen before mechanics and wonderful things that we have never experienced throughout the future of our current state. If it takes longer than 30 minutes, we'll make a two-party, three-party, however long it takes. Hello, I apologize for the rude start. <laughs> Welcome to Withering Whimsicality. There's a lot of quirky stuff that could be hard to figure out. If you have no idea what to do to help messengers uh, here for you. I don't need your help messages, I'm a pro. Messages on Beehive blocks are subtle hints. And messages on Mothership blocks are direct solutions. We need no such thing. We didn't know such thing. I just need to grab the bomb. I put it right here. Psh! Easy. Well, I just need to just kill myself. Then, now that I have given you the solution, I can read the messages. Nine out of ten doctors recommend avoiding explosions. Thanks. Thanks for that. Just jump as soon as you start the level. Well, I still need to get through though, which means we need that bomb, right? So, so we're going to end that adventure. We're going to restart. We're gonna grab. Da bomb. That. Oh, genius! It's all going to be so much easier from here now. This looks like a such a trivial nonsense level. What you had to say? This body is extremely serene and refuses to be triggered. Triggered. Look at all that junk. I don't think there's anything useful here. Hmm. At least I got a crown out of my. Out of that nonsense. Die! Oh, it doesn't actually explode. <laughs> uh, okay, alright, well. Hmm. Here I was, already super smug and ready to go, but this is actually a problem. I mean, I do have four health, right? I do have four health. Can't I just immune my way through this? No, uh, you cannot. I forget, I forget what these... Uh, Icons did exactly, so you cannot hold that against me. But anyway, I, I really have no problem whatsoever solving this. This looks extremely easy. I'm just trying to give you guys time to figure it out. Maybe a hint is in order. <laughs> the bat. The bat has something to do with this. There is an eggplant. Probably absolutely nothing that I want with that eggplant. This pickaxe will be nice. Can I maybe break the present with a pickaxe? No? Fine. Fine! I'll take a freaking hint. You need to find something harmless. Such as one of these. Do I really need to hit myself with an arrow? I guess so. Huh! I want to throw it up, baby. Please. Sure. That's so weird. That's so strange. It's like, it really should go through the gap. Can okay, I just throw it? Throw it. Yeah, if I throw it up and it bounces. There you are. There you are. So now, do one of these. I want now, though. What is the point? Oh, I get it. The idea was valid. The idea was valid. You need to be immune to damage, but do it with the bat. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. So proud of myself. Look at me. Look at me being incredible. I need to read the solution, though. Uh, we're going to go through. There's no jokes in those. It's just pure back of the book guide. You're flipping to the back of the book, saying all the solutions to the problems, to the math problems. All right, it looks like horrendously miserable. I hate everything about what is going on here. I cannot jump on that thing, but I can whip it. Oh, I think I whip it, catch it, and then I am immune enough to go through. The arrow will do a thing. Uh, can, I, can I ask that I had to restart manually? There should be a, a suicidal a way to commit suicide. Without having to restart. Oh, wait. 
That's not what. I, that's not how I to do. That's not how I need to do it. Need to whip it forward. Restart quickly. Oh, okay. Well, that's not the way it needs to be done, huh? <laughs> hmm. We can always just get the hint. I may allow myself to just grab the hint because otherwise I am liable to be completely worthless. I mean, there's no other... There's absolutely nothing else to do. It needs to be... It needs to be whipping it. Whipping it. And then hitting it just right. But how, though? Hmm. Hmm. I'll take the hint. I'll... I, fine! I'll swallow my pride. We'll just take the damn hint. Well, obviously, you need to trigger the trap with a fly. Who just thinks? Oh, man. Oh, you can... You can whip them twice, can't you? Why am I so obtuse? <laughs> Uh, for some reason, it took the hint for me to make the, the neural connection. It's so weird. The trap ahead must be triggered by an Ujedi. Ujedi. Feel free to use anything else if the concept of honor is alien to you. Well, that sounds to me like it describes me perfectly. What do you have to say about here? This one is a little antisocial. All right. Well, I, I would like to have it. There's no way I can grab it. Right? There's no way I can possibly whip it where it needs to go but what i can do all right let, let's see what's up here we're going to we're going to figure it out i suppose that we can do something like this take it over here the point is triggering it with the ujarai there is no whipping it not gonna happen but if i can maybe hang the chest just right i don't want to get too close to the edge and then it drops you know that may do it that No, you always grab it, huh? There's been times where I've actually seen it just pop out and it's just on the ground. How do I ever pull that off? You son of a bitch. <laughs> You're supposed to, maybe from the bottom? I've never actually gone out of my way to interact with the chess in that in such a manner, so... I'm not certain what does it take not to grab the Ujarai. I know that I have actually seen it done. But uh not surely not entirely certain how it works. It's not what I mean to do. Oh wait a minute. When you take the key, oh the game. You guys know that? I know that. Because the game in the game there's only ever one key, one chest. It is not programmed to not open the chest that is already open. That's, uh, that's curious. Hmm. Either way. This is something I'm not familiar with. So it's very uh, difficult to get done. Let's maybe... Maybe if it's on a ledge. Let's do a little bit of testing here. Put it like maybe like so. Something like this. Hmm. Maybe if it's a little bit closer. A little finicky. Nope. A little bit closer to the ledge. That's a little too too close, I think. Check it out. It did come out, but then I grabbed it. Okay, okay. A little bit. A little bit of science has been done. If I can get it to come out and not grab it, then from there I can whip it where it needs to go. I think it probably can be done on this ledge then. I think that will do it. 
give me another key. In fact, let me uh, throw a son of a... <laughs> Why am I doing them one by one? Oh, because then uh, the key that you grab will open the chest, you buffoon. All right, all right. Oh, don't take it away, you son of a... <laughs> this is silly. No, stop it! <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so dumb. Let me get a free key. I'm going to eventually run out of them. Bruh, please. There we are. Ah! <laughs> Is this the stupidest thing you have ever seen in your life? Okay, buddy. We can do this. We can do this. Don't touch the chest. Alrighty. We got it done. Gotta just grace it. Oh, oh, oh. oh we're not close enough. Derp. All right, let it hang right there. Oh, baby! Too smart! Too smart for you! Now I need to get rid of that. Don't touch it! Yo! Yeah! <laughs> I needed to get rid of all the debris because I'm, a, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I don't think two steps ahead. Look, we're going to trigger this crap with a freaking new Jedi, okay? We have proof of concept now. Now I just need to execute. So... I could simply just ignore it now that I know, you know, I figured it out. I don't need to execute the solution to know what it needs to be done. Right? Am I right? I am not right. I need to actually do it. So that's what we're doing right now. Throw that over there. Grab the key. Do not let it touch the dim chest. We put it at the ledge. On the, ed on the edge of the ledge. Bro. Okay. I'm not close enough. Or rather, the chest is not close enough. That should do it. Barely graze it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> almost. Almost ruined everything. Hey! <laughs> I am playing by the rules. Aren't you proud of me, Mom? I did not take shortcuts. I did not do it the easy way. All these Ujedis are scattered everywhere. Worthless! You can pick up something up when you're dead. Can't pick something up with your when you're dead. Oh, well, I just skirted the rules, baby. Place it just in spikes. Jump on top of it with a key. I'm too smart for you, Lisa Hike. I'm too outside the box. You cannot contain me. Too freaking smart. I am the greatest Spelunker of all time, just working outside the confines that you have created for me. I cannot be stopped! This one is not like the other girls. Alright, anyway, we got it done. Not in the way I was intended to do, but you know, might as well exemplify the way I am actually supposed to do it. Grab me one of these, grab me one of these, never mind, I am too dumb to stop myself from throwing. I don't want to grab the key, though. There you go. Put that there. Put that there. You grab the key. You do one of these. One of these. Did I grab it? I'm not sure. Let's go and verify what has come to pass. Uh, because I definitely did not know this uh, mechanic. That's neat. All right. I mean, but now I need to get rid of all the other debris, because otherwise uh, I am using other items on top of the Zujarai. Either way, we got it done. I'm too smart. Well done! I'm glad there are still decent people like you! I wrote that to make you feel bad if you cheesed it, which I didn't! In fact, I went above and beyond with knowledge you didn't have. Lisa Hike! I'm too smart! You cannot put me down! Okay, it's not. It's not actual danger. We got one of these. Probably don't want to kill that. I guess we can just take the point of damage and get wrecked. Is that what I'm supposed to do? There are lots of uh, health. Could there be something good up there? Let's find out. I'm going to be chased by this stupid gargoyle. Get treasure ahead. Great treasure ahead. Try finger butthole. Ah, 
I mean, Yang, I never, I never get to see what he said with Yang. Well done, keep going. You're just gonna send me on a idiotic wild goose chase. I just know it. I, I'm going to be led back to the start. You're almost there. You're just gonna have to force me to kill myself. One final step. Have fun with this incredible tool. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hilarious! It's a hike. Okay, okay, fine. We don't need any of that. Mm. Oh wait, no, oh, he gets trapped in there. Durr. Anyway, we don't give a crap about nothing. I did not want to actually uh, do damage to it. We're just gonna get wrecked here. Yeah, just go down, check out Yang, see what's going on down there. <coughs> not be concerned. With anything else that's going on but probably we need to use maybe we need to use both just in case no should have kept at least one of no okay uh, it's actually trapped in there we don't want to do anything with it only one with a pure heart can touch the chest look at me look at me i'm touching the chest i'm putting my dick all over it hmm hmm take a point of damage Go down, take a point of damage, go down and exit. That is my theory. What you have to say, Lisa Hike? There has to be something in that house to trigger the trap. No, no, don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me nothing. Hmm. I think uh, my my method is uh, viable. Come with me, gargoyle thing. We have seven points of, of health. Go all the way to the bottom. What what a what a trickster! What a trickster! Getting me to kill myself with the pl freaking plasma cannon. Too smart, Lisa Hike. Too smart. It seems that I have outsmarted you yet again. <laughs> I do not need no silly ass blue devil. What a foolish, foolish! Design. Uh, let's see what I'm actually supposed to do. Uh, that's the thing. You contend with super brainiacs like myself. You just open yourself to humiliation is what it happens. You know, it's, what do you want me to say about it? It's too many brain cells all up in this place. Get this foolish creature out. Actually, you don't want to get it out of there. Okay, let's use the blue devil. Ow. To maybe trigger the chest. Ah! <laughs> it destroys that. That's absolutely nothing, right? Hmm. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Tell me. There has to be something in the house to trigger the trap. Use the blue devil to destroy a block above a lantern. Then use the blue devil and the lantern to trigger the traps. Or you can just take damage. And be immune! Uh, pretty good, though. Pretty, I like that. The problem is, it's going to be... Ah. We can just take some more damage. Idiot! What an idiot! Okay, and then you trigger it like so. We now have a corpse, my favorite thing to play with. Great stuff! Unfortunately, my incredible brains continue to outsmart the cruel designer. Okay, we're going to need the ghost somehow. Question is... I mean, you grab it and then what? Oh, in the jungle you grab the idol and it breaks blocks, right? So let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Well... I don't know where I'm supposed to go, so... <laughs> uh, the ghost is coming. Aha! Uh -huh. So we're just supposed to go forward, hopefully, to something incredible. Do you guys know? Do you guys know that you can actually do one of these? Go around the level? Oh, but I don't know if it... Uh... This is just cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> That's just evil. But that is a bit of knowledge that your boy Blargo did have used it effectively. I mean... There was not much of a different option, was there? And now you allow me to be here with a jetpack and a pickaxe? 
You don't just take it away? How could this be? Probably supposed to use all the bombs to kill old body. I have to say, for yourself. That's a pretty tight timer. I don't like. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> like the sound of that at all. Uh, I mean, I do have the pickaxe. We can get old body out of there. To cheese the crap out of it, but do I want to kill it? Though is the pro is the question. Hmm. Oh, you can destroy those blocks, but nothing else. I mean, what it would seem like is you need to grab the bombs, throw them at all body. I can just kill you with my stumps, though, because I am a jetpack wielder. Being very dishonorable. Totally going skirting the rules over here. Basically using my own reward. Of being elite video gamer. Ah, I see. Things open up. You get a few bombs out of that. But then what? I have a pickaxe. There's no opening in this area. If I grab it, no. Absolutely nothing. Hmm, tight timer, you say. Maybe you do need to get this done faster. And that's why the stomping does not work. Okay, so without a hint, I would... Ow, well, it's over. <laughs> without a hint... Uh, excuse me, my mad talk has just vanished. It disappeared. It no longer exists. What the... <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. It's all good. Without a hint, it's like I need to kill old body very quickly. Is that what I'm supposed to do? There's something useful in the walls. Something useful in the walls. Uh, oh, maybe I need to throw the bombs up. But of course. Can't quite tell, can you? Something useful in the wall. There is a push block over here. Does absolutely nothing for me. We do have the, the method. We're going to use it to its best effect I mean the bomb doesn't work here though yeah that, that thing that happens maybe I need to throw it hmm hmm I think those push blocks are entirely for decoration they're all over the place but they're just random hmm I don't want the outright solution. Certainly don't want that. Wonder if the timer suggests that if you don't do it fast enough, you, there is no exit. Or it simply suggests that the timer to grab the bomb and throw it all, at all bitey is the problem here. Hmm. Where's my pickaxe? Give it back to me. Let's see if we can get one of these done. Shoot at me, brother. Shoot at me. Uh, but, but maybe not like that, though. <laughs> we can uh, stand here. Yeah, there's no way I can run fast enough to throw it out old bitey. So how do we go about that? How to go about that? There's, oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. Completely at random. I'm going to push him. I'm not going to cro... Oh, well, that was a mistake, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, well, you kill him and stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's right. He does two points of damage each time. I guess you push him and then he destroys the blocks... Around him? Is that what's happening there? I think that's what's happening there. Oh, it didn't come down. It destroyed it because my bomb toss was so elite and perfect. 
my bomb toss was so elite and perfect that it perfectly touched the ceiling in a way that the push block did not drop. All right, buddy, I think we get this. We get this. The idol that comes out of him creates... What? <laughs> we just roll that way. Uh, the idol that comes out of him creates... creates uh, 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 blocks getting destroyed. So you're supposed to push him all the way to the end here and then just whip him to a miserable extent. <laughs> and then when he dies, he will break the way open because you see the, the five blocks right beneath will show the way to the exit. Pretty damn good. This one's clever. This one is something that I had really never even considered before that could happen. Wow. Oops, that was a lie, but aren't you used to it by now? Next time I should tell the truth to be less predictable. I know exactly what you're talking about, but I am glad that I got to the exit. Yep, I am the exit man. What you got? What you got now in this dark level? Behold, peak level design this is going to be hilarious in some way. Okay. All right. All right. Gorgeous. I don't want that. I don't want that. I mean, there's a way out there. Let's see what's up here, though. If there's push blocks at in some point of this, I'm going to be pissed! Okay. Mm I refuse to believe it's as simple as just going down, triggering the arrow, <laughs> then going out to the exit. But it could easily be that. Just being, just Lisa Haig being a jerk off, trying to get in my head. Okay. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hmm. That is indeed a problem. Blech. All right, so we need to trigger these arrow traps somehow. I believe. We have seen the self-damage thing. Maybe if I stun myself with the torch, that will do it, but I don't think so. There may be another object hidden behind all these platforms. Oops. Though we might guess that absolutely cruel, evil Lisa Hike Hit an object behind one of these. There's a rock. There is some kind of item. And that is why all these little fences are here. To make it into an absolute nightmare. Anyway, that's, that's my operating theory. Let's go get the hint. See if it, it pushes me out of that theory or, or it basically tells me, yeah, I'm supposed to find it. So let's see what you got to say. Something is lurking here. Look closely, you asshole. <laughs> you piece of trash. I need to go through each and every one of these and actually grab it from behind it. Mm. Uh, nope, not here. Probably if I look, actually look closely, you can probably see a hint, a pixel or two. But... Ow. But it's really hard to see, and without light, definitely I cannot see a damn thing. It wouldn't be at the bottom, right? Alright, well, let's be methodical about it. I bet if I actually looked... Every piece of scenery. I will be able to see the hint of an item. Yep. All right, all right. Let's be thorough. Nothing there. Nothing there. 
bruh. Like a literal wild goose chase. Freaking honker is gonna come out of one of these fences. Why you do this to me? I thought we had a pretty good working relationship. I thought you and I, at least a hike, had a mutual understanding. I see ya! Little crawling little creature. Come with me. Oh, didn't, didn't grab it. <laughs> Not to make it all the way to the other side. I'm too stupid though to, <laughs> to be able to see anything or see the damn platforms. We saw the little rat. Right there, you are. Get this down there. I have it. It's mine. It belongs to me. Don't drop into the abyss now, though. That'll be hil hilariously humiliating. Down you go. Oh, maybe I need to be holding it and think about that. Let's hope not. So we can go down here, and then you do one of these. Too smart. Too smart. I actually had a theory. We verified the theory. We kept going forward. So good, baby. Okay, level number eight. Is it? Yeah, level number eight. No, no, I'm not reading it. My eyes are closed. I did not read it. I haven't read it. You just have to take my take my word for it. What the hell's happening here? What's the, what are these brown textures? Bunch of idiots. The damsel is clearly the way to go. Or is it? Or is it? Now I need to be punched by a Yeti. Hmm. How do you trigger this frog? Oh, you need to go through here. Which just means I need to suffer one point of damage. Damn, so there's not the way to go at all! But maybe it is. Can he get through that? Yeah, he can. Alright, alright. Good stuff. Um, we probably need it, you know, later. Let's get, get you up here. You may now charge me, sir. Well done. Oh, you can't! Oh! You just bounce on it. A new wrinkle. A new mystery to solve. So you just bounce on that. You can't get through that by simply... By simply getting destroyed. Partially. So how do you... Like you can lure the frog and they throw something at it. Oh, you can't even do that because it won't chase me from up here. If I am up here. Hmm. You throw the damsel down, but it, it just, you know, runs around aimlessly. <clears throat> Arrow. That's absolutely nothing. Maybe hurting myself into... Like, if I am actually stunned... That is not conducive to what I wanted to do. Absolutely idiotic. And then... Here's my working... Th I always give you my working theory. Non don't know how I'm supposed to get rid of that yet. But I think what you're supposed to do... Is use the plant, throw it down there, have the plant swallow the frog. And that will explode. Problem being, this plant is a bit of a challenge. <laughs> the plant is a bit of a challenge to get there. But I think I think that's the solution here. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm a smart individual. No, oh, don't kill me. There's nowhere I wanted the plant to go. Made everything harder. Yeah, we're supposed to. Oh, okay, that's good. That's decent. Hey, we actually made it. And now the plant will eventually come over to... Oh, no, no, don't, don't do that, you stupid-ass frog. <laughs> you better stay there. You 
dumbass amphibian get swallowed. Idiot. Kabumo! <laughs> Again, too smart. It was sort of the damsel. <laughs> I used it. I used the damsel. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it was the way to go. Oh, man. Another one, huh? This block is more meaningful than it seems. Hmm. Well, here's definitely the, the tunnel man. Okay, I, shouldn't pro I probably shouldn't even kill the snail because it may, it may matter. I think I need the shield to push. The shield will push these creatures without killing them. You know what I'm saying? But you can't really get past this, this snail. Can you? Oh, I was hoping. Ow. Excuse me? <laughs> All right. Ah, ah! <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being sexually assaulted. What an absolute nymphomaniac. Uh, definitely need to use the shield to push. But I don't think any of these things explode. Huh? Or there's, uh, there's another exit there, huh? I don't need your hint. I don't need your hint. I can figure this out. Uh, question. If you crush this, does it explode? I don't think it does. But even if it did, you, you wouldn't want it to explode. You can't go back here. Am I being bamboozled? I may be being bamboozled by this bait. Saying, oh, you're supposed to explode it, but no! You're actually meant to use this path somehow. No ropes, though. Mm, nothing really flies, so I can't just ride it with stumps. The Hawkman cannot punch me. My shortcuts will get you where you want to go. I don't think uh, you can get me where I want to go, buddy. Look at me. Look at me. Pushing you there. I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> um, crushing a lantern? Does it explode? Not like it would matter because... Yeah, that stuff doesn't explode. Not that it would matter because I have no means to survive in that explosion. I see no way around like being able to use the orange frog in any other way. It's not like I can do that. Give me this hint. Give me someone's help to destroy that orange menace. Okay, okay. So I think that part we did figure it out just right. <laughs> that part we did figure out just right. Let me just murder you real quick. But I'm pretty stumped on that. This... can't really even conceive something that will get me all the way up. We will need like a, something to, to stomp on that doesn't die, basically. And I cannot conceive a way to blow this up. Fine, fine. I'll take the hint because uh, this one, I got no work in theory. I, I'm truly stumped on that one. There's something directly above the temple block. That is helpful. That <laughs> isn't it helpful? It means... It means... Ah! Oh! Ropes, I assume. How do you trigger that, though? How do you jump all the way up there? There is no way I need to use five different enemies to stomp on their ba backs, right? Some way to go all the way up there. I think you need to use enemies to stomp on them, gain enough height, but that seems just unhinged. To request such a thing ain't gonna happen. The arrow! 
didn't realize there was an error, but uh, you know, this throw does not reach high enough. Like, not even close, bud. Not even close. Hmm. Even, I, I can imagine stomping a couple times on a few enemies, you know. And then throwing it up. But even then? Is it feasible? Feels like I only have half the solution to this. Give me the second hint. I uh, I really cannot conceive of a way to get this up there, all the way up there. Which one of those enemies can hit something far above? Oh, this oh, the snail bubble. Oh man, I really should have thought about that. The snail bubble should be able to uh, destroy the crate. So the complication here... Oopla! Hey, you filthy cobra. Don't kill my freaking plant. So the complication... Oh! There you go. Is to get be able to get the snail to that to that area over there which is done with the shield but then i have to figure out some way to get over the snail without killing it which is not straightforward but you can you can get up next to him i don't think there's a jump high uh you know wide enough for me to be able to get over there I could conceive of a Yeti punch that gets me over this nail. I think the Hawkman is way too uncontrollable to be the thing that I need to use. So let's go with a Yeti instead. Bit of a problem to get it all the way over there. Oh shit. <laughs> it's not dead, right? No, it doesn't die. Okay, bud. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Can Mr. Yeti, can you punch me over this nail? I my doubts, but let's see. I think if I get punched right here, I'll fly straight over. Let us put that to the test right now. Maybe a little closer. Oh, smart. That's me. A smarty pants. I am. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm so freaking smart! Don't screw it up though. Oh, I may have missed up. Oh, snails walk. Never mind. <laughs> I, was, I was starting to be slightly concerned. Oh well, I didn't need the hint. I admit defeat on that front. Tall man is gone. He's a goner. I admit defeat on the hint front. At least I figured it out. Oh, baby, he killed himself. I see the served. This is just bait. This right here is bait. Wonder, though. I, I, I do want to read what it says, though. Uh, you filthy cheater, it will tell me. You dirty cheater. There's no way you should have be able to, to read this message. Because <laughs> we have the ropes. What do you have to say? Jump over this nail, get the shield, move this nail with it. The snail's bubble should go directly above the tongue. It says jump over their snail, so it seems like you actually can jump. Make that jump. I thought that you couldn't. I really thought you couldn't. So I added an extra wrinkle. To the requirements of that level. Okay, we're on level 9 out of 12 plus. We can get an hour of a video. Ooh, jet back. So there's a psychic presence here. Funky. Is it possible to get out of that hole? It's actually one absolute trash. Yeah. Marginally useful. You absolute bitch. Right. Good stuff. Temporarily closed. It, it ain't closed. It ain't closed. It is closed. Oh, oh. <laughs> Cocktease. <laughs> Alright, I, I need to grab the money even in a situation like this. Give me all that stuff. I want it. Uh, we're not gonna open this up yet. Although maybe I should. 
eggplant, parachute. I don't think this fly is worth anything, right? Like, there's nothing you can possibly do with that fly. I don't think I want to open this with Jedi yet, but I think I will. Just, just you know, to start with, we're going to do that. Throw this into the hole. Ooh. Okay. Should have probably looked. Definitely need to throw something in there. I think we need the fireman for this. Huh! Get blown up, bitch. All right, good stuff. A few hints over here. What do you have to say? You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Ugh. The most, ori most original Dark Souls user has logged in. Uh, anyway, that blew up. Let's go find what it opens. We get a pile of extra health. Oh, wow, 99 health! What do I do with it? Just throw my face at the, at the bullets? Is that what I'm supposed to do with it? Ow. Ow. Oh, but there's no way through, though. I think I'm supposed to... If I jump in between, will it just take me up? I never knew that, if, it's, if that's the case. Mm. I think that may be the case, though. Hard to say. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But I think that that's what was supposed to happen. You're... You're supposed to hit the bullets just right to get bounced all the way up in a reverse plinko action. And I have kind of... I've kind of ruined everything now. Okay, so I got my working theory. I need to make the bullets work for me. And basically uh, make me levitate, alright? You need the health and you need the bullets. I think so. I think if you hit it just right, you will become elevated. So let's try that again. Kind of upsetting. Kind of upsetting. Do need to hit it just right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you scum lord. Okay, give me the fireman. You toss it. Explodes. At least this is very, very easy to get to. Oh. What do you have to say here? You need something that can move by itself. Okay, okay, good. I was smirked and I figured that one out. I'm going to assume that is indeed the case. You need to hit the bullets just right to be able to go up. Honestly, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, 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 that, that did something. Oh, look at me! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> how do you even figure... Lisa Hike, how the hell do you even know that? I had no idea that happened. No clue. I have never seen that before. How did you figure that out? Do let me know in the comments. Like, did you know that beforehand? Was that a done... Uh, through experimentation or had you seen it in some other level have you ever noticed how bad at their job these turrets are indeed indeed they are they are garbage okay upsetting here's the hint uh, for now I would say we still have 33 health but I'm I don't think I'm supposed to have it let me let me be honest do this properly how much health do we start with? Four. All right, all right. So I believe I need to use that fish, those fish bones, get the turret. Then you grab the turret, you have it shoot, put it down, and run away. Yeah. At least we start with four health. It's fine. 
oh, I, there's a new wrinkle. Freaking UFO down there. So anyway, I think my my work in theory. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> it's it's uh, more complicated than than I made it be. Not so much. You just need to make sure that the throw of the bones is not lethal to the turret. All right, good stuff. Uh, maybe from the bottom, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Now, do the shooting. Now run, 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 run. Ooh! Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't activated. <laughs> That's not gonna do it, but this one will. It did. Next one. Next one will do it. Ah! <laughs> Friggin' uh, upsetting. I'm not sure if I'm proud or ashamed of this contraption. <laughs> okay, but let's see whether the shot doesn't go anywhere, so we can just go through no problem. Huh. I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with that. No, oh, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Jumping this is not possible, it's just death. We can throw something from here. Don't... I was about to say, about to say don't make me pick up the alien, but you really can't. You can't even uh, lower this alien. This alien is just caught up there forever. Let's see what happens down here. Will the alien try to chase me? No? Wow. Yeah, this one, I, I have not a single idea. Let me put a little bit more thought into it, but I have no idea whatsoever about how to surmount it. We do have the pitcher's glove, but there's just no items to throw. There was the bones that I neglected to grab with me, the, the fish bones. If we had fish bones, what could I do with them? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> You're supposed to have the alien shoot. And then here, you stand here and you have fish bones in your hand. And you shoot right when at the intersection of fish bones and alien shot. And that will bounce the fish bones onto the arrow trap, which will destroy the powder kegs. Fortunately, I did not grab the fish bones, so... <laughs> Kill me right now! Alright, we're gonna make this happen. It's gonna work. My sticks were made. It's okay, we need... All we need is the last point of health. Good stuff. Be careful that this does not kill, or rather bounce back at me. Phew! Oh, wow! Didn't realize it had to be done so quickly. All right. At least it's not, you know, doesn't take forever to get another attempt in. Wish I had realized that you needed the freaking fish. <laughs> needed the freaking fish bones. In more than one instance. Feeling pretty good though. How about having figured it out? I know it's gonna work. I know it! Do one of these. Bruh. It's actually. Son of a. The, in Splunky 2, you need to hit down twice. That's why it's like, you know, muscle memory to go down twice. <sighs> Give me more fish bones. <laughs> All right, let's not be so hasty. Just need to come over here and throw that. No, it needs to have a little bit of force, bounce on r the right place. It's really not straightforward. I invite you, as I always do, to play these custom levels and see if you can do it better. Even if you have already seen me. Figure it out. Just the fact that it does take some execution. Well, it's not coming back. All right. Yeah. Okay. Give me the fish bones. <clears throat> Go down here. And thankfully, it does allow me to retry. But it's okay because we're gonna do it in one shot. Who could have thought that dead fish are so useful? <laughs> Whoa. Very cool that the that 
the bullet plinko, reverse plinko, and this puzzle right here, the most creative so far. Some some serious serious creativity you put over here. We need to just hop between platforms. I think that's what's supposed to happen. <clears throat> Slightly difficult. Slightly demanding this jump. I think you can actually jump off the ledge and get to the bottom. I mean, get to the middle. You need to land exactly in the middle. Oh, can I maybe go? Oh, you can go across. There. <coughs> I was putting too much thought into it. You can do one of these. And then I think you can even jump all the way across that one. You don't even need to touch the platform in the middle there. Do something like... Oh. Let's see. Grab. Go across. And then... You, no, you don't reach. Okay, you do need to turn back. So this is uh, just a matter of execution. Opla. Uh -huh. Oh! Okay. No, you asshole! <laughs> Freaking last one! Uh, the thing about this one, you just need to... You just go all the way through, pushing the directional button. There's not much thought put into it, and then you get a nice grace period where you are bouncing off the edge. So it's very easy to turn back. Is this one that's super tricky? Well, I think I need to, though, now that I think about it. I think I can just do one of these. Oh, well, never mind. Actually, I can just keep going forward, right? I think that will work. Do one of these. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry. It will be executed. Do one of these. Yeah, and you just hang on. And then you do one of these. Holy crap, this is so much easier than I gave it credit for. <laughs> Incredibly easy. What the hell? All right, let me do something nice for once. If you've had enough of that, you can just leave! I'm not, I'm not even gonna call you names for that. But if you want something more challenging, go down there. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Please. Ninja, please. That's the spirit. All right, this one's a bit more interesting. You do need to land in between the platforms, which is a massive, massive challenge. How could you do this to me, Lisa? Hike! This is like uh, super trivial to get through after you understand what is supposed to happen, though. So it's really not that bad because you get another chance right away. Ow! And I don't think there's ever space to go between bullets. The trick is to go between bouncy platforms. That's what needs to happen. Ah! Between bouncy platforms. I was hoping to get through the entirety of it without doing any kind of edits. Uh, this one may be one of those. Where oh, baby! Oh, but you still uh, need to maybe not get murdered. <laughs> so can you? Let's do a few tests. Can you jump between bullets without dying? Because that's kind of an important thing to know. Hmm... If the position exists, it is quite pixel perfect. Is it possible? I don't think it's possible. Okay, the question number two. Is there a hop low enough? Oh, okay, you just need to really barely touch the jump button. And uh, you'll make it. So, now we have the theory. Let's put in the practice. I uh, still need to be running. I was just doing a walking hop. And that was a mistake. Alright, bud. We're gonna pull this off. Feels good to at least know that I got... Ah! That I got the theory down. Now it's just a matter of execution. Some real funky platforming going on here. Really thought that 
it would take a lot more practice to get this done. Hey, baby! <laughs> well done, you're a true gamer! Thank you, thank you, Lisa Hike. I am uh, quite the prideful individual. Let's see what's at the end of the level pack. Feels like the 4th of July. Some nonsense going on there. No hints for me. Give me glasses. Get rid of these damn spiders. I don't really care about anything here. Might as well grab one of these. Okay, that's just dead. Give me the compass, why not? Probably want one of those too. I can't think of an enforcement mechanism, so it's honor time! The trap ahead must be triggered by an item. Enemies and your body are not allowed. Okay? <laughs> Why you do this? Why you do this to me? How do you get an item to come all the way down here? With the blue devil, you can destroy blocks. It will be a matter of destroying the bottom. How do you destroy everything? And I also have resurrection. Probably useful in some way. He's just gonna hurt me for, for sure. Actually, he did not hurt me. He did hurt me. Okay. So that that's that's a thing that I just did. Super duper. We gotta get him, I think seems pretty straightforward to get him to the bottom here and then I was thinking if you destroy this you can then whip the glasses over here but then how the hell do you go around the glasses not picking them up you could destroy a little bit further but I don't think that will help oh no no never mind I was like, if you destroy the one on top, you can maybe go around, but no, that's not going to help. Hmm. You're absolute buffoon. You definitely want to... Actually, no, he should actually... Ah! Hey, buddy. Ah! Okay, this gives me enough room. Ah! I mean, I will resurrect, so it's not that big a deal. All right, not have to die though. Whoopla! Okay, so that opens up that spot. Oh, he's gonna get spiked. Shit! <laughs> well, there goes my tool. That's the last thing that needs to happen. How to get around the glasses? Hmm. Maybe if you whip them, nah, there's no way you can whip them from high enough. How to get around the glasses? Do I have the cape? Nope. <laughs> eh, give me a hint. Give me a hint. Sometimes the first thing you see is exactly what you need. The cape? But I need the cape, though. I need the cape to be able to do things. When I quit back at him, it's possibly just a little tricky. Can, can you unequip a back item? I mean, you die you, by dying. But even then... Oh, really? I don't have the cape anymore. I do have the cape. Okay. You need to get disintegrated, like crushed. In order to unequip the back item, my body needs to explode, but not so the item. <laughs> It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's a, it requires some thinking. Let me put some thought into it. 
Ah, uh, I completely forgot that we get a plant! Still though, it is only on 1 HP, this plant. You noticed earlier that we killed it and uh, it just exploded in one hit. So, still not trivial. I think I need to... Like, if I die here, the cape will go down. Right? Am I right in that? Do, do items go through the... No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Okay, well, I'm putting way too much thought into this. Oh, my bad. I did not have the unk. <laughs> I'm putting way my, too much thought into this. I thought for sure that I needed to use the blue devil to open up that way. But all I need to do is grab the unk. Oh, almost killed it. By reflex. All I need to do is grab the unk. Oh, wait a minute. When I die, yeah, we do need the blue devil. Because when I die, we need to avoid the spikes again. Which means... We need to open up the way. Okay, bud. We, we need to actually not die to this devil, so please. Please! Do not murder me. Ooh. Okay, that does it. Where? There's the cape right there. There's going to be a ledge. What? Oh, <laughs> I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. I mean, I almost put it on, by the way. Look at me. I didn't need the hints. I, I don't think I would have figured this one out. I would have continued trying to figure out the puzzle of getting the items to the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, I admit partial defeat on this one. That was pretty damn clever. I think that's it. It said 12 levels. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was 12 levels. Or was it 13? I'm not sure. Anyway, give me a resurrection, please. We're going up, baby! Yeah, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> ah! uh, I mean, I did, I did resurrect. And there's a pile of bombs up there. Crush blocks. No ropes. Nothing to throw. Holy crap, what kind of solution is this? It takes a freaking novel to figure this one out. Let me end the adventure. Restart fresh. Okay, we grab the ledge so we don't suffer fall damage. We're supposed to go up. We're supposed to resurrect. At some point. Okay. I don't see anything up here that is, you know, important in any capacity. Throw... Uh, I need to maybe... I think what I need to do... You get the blocks. One of them will descend, will come all the way over here. And you get it over here. Then it goes up here, gets over here, and then you have to use it. You send it up, and the arrows will get you off <laughs> the block. And then what, though? Anyway, that's, you know, we can figure out what happens then. For now, let's make sure that we... Uh, get the thwomps where they need to be. So I think one of these... Oh, that's not what I needed to do. That was a terrible mistake. You go up, you trigger the second one, you just take the fall damage, and it should be good. Give me one of these. Take the fall damage. Get it over there. Over here. Whoopla. And now up. Oh, but now I'm dead. I mean, I do resurrect as the block is coming up. 
<laughs> Baby! <laughs> Brother! Was that the intended solution? Because that is devilish. That is just some absolutely ridiculous concept that I absolutely loved. That was great. That was a great level. Very impressive. And now the epic conclusion. An adventure must end with a boss fight. But who will it be? Olmec Yama? Your mother? Jump down and find out. Blue Frog OP. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Get me out of here! Got burst. All right, well. Should have been Blue Frogs. Wee! <laughs> Okay, well, uh, give me the hint. Because, you know, if this is a, a brawl to the death. What kind of possible hint can you possibly give me here? Try to avoid me. <laughs> thumbs up, bud. Thumbs, thumbs up to that hint. That's absolutely great. Restart until you succeed. Excellent. Excellent advice. Could not agree more. Anyway, throw that there. And I'm done. Probably need to kill them, right? No imperfection allowed. Which means... If you don't kill them, you cannot get through. Oh, you need four points of health. That is freaking uh, evil. <laughs> that's evil. At least a hike. Thankfully, though, oh, that's not what I want. Get wrecked, idiot. And now you need the three points of health to get through here. Perfect play. Only three time, three attempts. Easy, baby. How often do you have to think while fighting those guys? Not really much at all. Probably never, which is a shame. Good, good piece of insight there. Well done, Lisa Hike. This is both a reward and anti-cheese device. Ooh, very cool, very cool. Give me all these delicious uh, rubies. I make a shaft. Oh yeah, feels great. Is there cheese to be done? I, I don't know how exactly. Oh, if you survive, I get it. If you survive, uh, you, well, no, you don't get damaged. If you don't get damaged and you open the way out, uh, you will be able to be here without having enough bombs to do it. Uh, but that is not right. There's no right, and we get the ultimate reward right here. This is excellent. If you want something even more satisfactory, here you go. I appreciate it, bud. Appreciate it. Uh, you know exactly the kind of uh, thing that I'm into. That's the end of the withering whimsicality. I hope this was a fun go through, or at the very least, not overly annoying. There was no annoyance involved. It was very, very like this. You can feel the years of custom level design behind this level pack. All the annoyances are gone. It gives you hints and then solutions if you get stuck. Nothing like sadistically complicated, just a, a reasonable challenge. It's amazing that despite this game being out since 2013 and despite the release of Spelunky 2, the game and its community are still alive. Anyway, thank you for playing. Lisa Hike, 15th of September, the next level is just, uh, oh, you'll see. You'll see what's there. Maybe it's the initial level that I saw, which is on the editor. Oh no, it's, it's, just, it's just this nonsense. And then I am hoping... Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a great ending. The entire game has completely stopped functioning. Uh, but we made it though. We made it with the incredible texture pack. Excellent level pack. Quite impressive. Like I said, you can feel the years of game design, of the custom level design poured into the ideas here well done thumbs up lisa hike totally worth playing went a little long but that's okay i forgive myself really should have split in two but whatever see you in whatever comes next spelunky hd never ceases to be great but i'll be back to spelunky 2 at some point i'm sure i will maybe earlier than you think <laughs>